Hello everyone, I'm Nitin and in this modular arithmetic for cryptography part 3 video, I'll be discussing congruence, modular congruence, addition properties of modular congruence and multiplication properties of modular congruence. So let's get started. So what is congruence? In geometry, congruence means two objects are identical in size and shape, whether two-dimensional or three-dimensional. For example, in figure one, the left-hand side elephant is congruent to right-hand side elephant, meaning that they are identical in size and shape. Similarly, in figure two, the left-hand side triangle is congruent to the right-hand side triangle, meaning that their angles, lengths of sides, overall dimensions are identical. Just remember, all congruent figures are similar but not all similar figures are congruent. Now we know what is congruence in geometry, but we are more interested to know congruence in modular arithmetic and modular arithmetic is related to mod and remainder. So if we divide two integers a and b by the same integer n and their remainders are the same, then a and b are congruent mod n. Let's summarize it. For a positive integer n, the integers a and b are congruent mod n if their remainders are the same when they are divided by n. So finally, an equivalence among integers is called modular congruence when their remainders are the same after dividing by the same number. Let's look at two examples. One is congruent and other is not. In the first example, if a equals 8, b equals 12 and n equals 4, then we need to check a and b are congruent mod n or not. So 8 mod 4 is 0 and 12 mod 4 is 0. Their mods are equal. Therefore, 8 and 12 are congruent mod 4. And we write this relation as 8 mod 4 is congruent 12 mod 4. Let's look at another example. If a equals 6 and b equals 12 and n equals 4, then we need to check a and b are congruent mod n or not. So 6 mod 4 is 2 and 12 mod 4 is 0. Their mods are not equal. Therefore, 6 and 12 are not congruent mod 4. Let's look at how we write and read this modular congruence relation. So this is the standard way of writing and we read it as a is congruent to b mod n. And this is for our understanding that the mod n is applied to both sides of the relation and not just to the right side, means a mod n and b mod n. Also, a is congruent to b mod n implies b is congruent to a mod n. The congruence relation represents that a and b both have the same remainder when they are divided by n. Let's look at one special case of congruence relation. That is, a is congruent to 1 mod n and we can write for our understanding a mod n is congruent to 1 mod n. That means a and b equals 1 both have the same remainder 1 when they are divided by n. That is, a mod n equals to 1 and 1 mod n equals to 1. Now we are going to learn addition properties of modular congruence. This first property states that if we are adding two integers a and b and their sum is c, then calculating c mod n is the same as if we added a mod n to b mod n and then calculated their sum mod n. Let's look at an example. If 27 is congruent to 6 mod 21, now we know the values of n, a, b, and c are. So just place these values in the above congruence relation and then find the mod. Now we have the final relation and their mods are equal. So this addition property is true. Let's look at another addition property of modular congruence. This property states that if we have two congruence relations with the same mod n, that is a is congruent to b mod n and c is congruent to d mod n, then a plus c is congruent to 
d plus d mod n relation and that is true okay so let's check it in an example if 18 is congruent to 5 mod 13 and 43 is congruent to 4 mod 13 now we know the values of n a b c and d are just place these values in the above congruence relation then add numbers and now we have the final relation and their mods are equal so this addition property is true now multiplication properties of modular congruence this first property states that if we are multiplying two integers a and b and their product is c then calculating c mod n is the same as if we multiplied a mod n to b mod n and then calculated their product mod n let's look at an example if 27 is congruent to 6 mod 21 now we know the values of n a b and c are just place these values in the above congruence relation then find the mod and now we have the final relation and their mods are equal so this multiplication property is true another multiplication property of modular congruence this property states that if we have two congruence relations with the same mod n that is a is congruent to b mod n and c is congruent to d mod n then a times c is congruent to b times d mod n relation that is true okay so let's check it in an example if 18 is congruent to 5 mod 13 and 43 is congruent to 4 mod 13 now we know all the values of n a b c and d are just place these values in the above congruence relation and multiply numbers now we have got the final relation and their mods are equal so this multiplication property is true this concludes my presentation and thanks for watching my video